Hey guys, it's Mick here. Uh, today I don't really have a vlog, but what I got is more of a poll. Uh, I had a run-in, kind of a run-in with a guy on Craigslist, so I want to poll the people that are watching this video, basically find out what would you do. So anyway, here's the scoop. I had a set of Ford Super Duty mirrors that I posted on Craigslist, and I wasn't exactly sure what years they fit, I just knew that they were super duty, super duty mirrors. So when I posted my ad, I put a picture of them and the stud pattern and that. And my posting just said, four super duty mirrors, a pair of them, because I had both sides. And they were new mirrors, not in the box, you know, I was descriptive about that, but I never posted, you know, what years they fit or anything like that, because I wasn't sure. So anyway, I got a call from a guy, and, and he's like, yeah, I'll take them. So I'm like, all right. So I agreed to meet this guy somewhere, and uh, the first thing he did that kind of ticked me off was he was 45 minutes late from our meeting time. And I, you know, I, I texted him right when we were supposed to meet, and I said, where are you at? I'm here. And he said, oh, dude, I'm running 15 minutes late. And then 15 minutes turned into a half hour, and a half hour turned into 45 minutes. And then when he finally got there, he was going to Jew me down, but, you know, I was like, no, I don't think so. So, you know, I wasn't happy, but the guy bought them, gave me what I asked for them, and we went on about our merry way. Well, then the, the problem started. The next morning, he texts me, and he's like, what the F, you totally f me over, and just was real ignorant and stuff in his text, and I can't even, you know, I don't even want to repeat half the stuff that he said, and said that these mirrors don't fit my effing truck, and blah, 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 and I'm like, I read it, and I was like, really? So you were 45 minutes late picking them up, and you didn't make sure that they were going to fit your truck, you know, I, you know, the guy looked at the mirrors when I handed them to him. He could have changed his mind. I told him I wasn't sure what years they fit and if they were OEM or aftermarkets or what. I just knew they were super duty, super duty mirrors. And then <laughs> he sends me that text the next day. And I just was, I don't know, I, I didn't quite know what to think. Because, you know, first off, had he sent me a text and all it said was, hey man, these mirrors don't fit my truck, would you consider taking them back? I would have freaking taken them back in a heartbeat. No problem. But it didn't happen that way. The guy was a total jerk in the text he sent me to let me know that he bought the wrong mirrors. So I guess what my what my question is is should I text the guy back and tell him I'll give him his money back if he meets me? Should I text the guy back and tell him he's a jerk? And that he shouldn't talk to people that way. And had he been had he been nice about it, that I would have given him his money back. But I'm not going to now. Or should I just not even reply to the guy? Now, my my gut feeling is I don't need, I'm not even going to reply to the guy because, like I said, if he would have been nice from the get go, I probably would have texted him right back and said I'll give you your money back. But. You know, just the whole situation, being 45 minutes late, and then just being a total jerk without even asking me if I would consider giving his money back, I don't even want to reply to the guy. So, I'm asking you guys, so if you're watching this video, tell me what would you do in this situation? Would you reply to this douche? Would you not reply to him? Would you go ahead and give him his money back? What do you think? So, just put your comments down below. Uh, you know, if, if you're uh, if you're on the Facebook and you don't have a uh, YouTube account, but you know me on the Facebook, you know, send me a message on the Facebook or whatever. But let me know what you would do, and whatever uh, whatever most of my viewers suggest, that's that's what I'm going to do. But I'm taking a few days to think about this, so I'm going to give it a few days, and uh, whatever my viewers come back with, that's what I'm going to do. So, thanks for watching.